why is that wherever you go to you know kind of <coughs> preach or talk about stuff you sit in a particular position you know uh, with sandals removed from your left leg left leg up and right leg on the ground intact is it your style or is it is it is it, is it the way that one person should sit do you still use the indian toilet yeah i yes do you sit in a particular way <laughs> i'm just asking you do you why because the body is made like that today in uh, i forget the name of the university some university in united states made a study and they said this is the best way to shit because your thighs will go into your abdomen and press it out and everything that needs to come out will come out if what needs to come out doesn't come out it will slowly raise to your head yes so to perform different types of activity in the yogic sciences we observed that certain types of body positions will support certain activity to its best or in other words what is called as yoga what is called as yoga is another different thing what is called as hatha yoga the physical postures is it is about manipulating the body in such a way that you get to a certain geometric perfection that your geometry is aligned with a larger geometry of creation so that you are always in sync you are never off and how balanced you are how clearly you see things and how well you do things simply depends on how much you are in sync with everything else around you whether it's people or trees or life or just space are you in sync with it or not will decide how smoothly how friction free is your function in the world now uh, i don't sit like this all the time only when i speak how i am sitting if i have to explain <laughs> there is something called as siddhasana that means there are many aspects to it one simple aspect is the left heel the left heel is there is a point on the left heel that today the medical sciences are calling it calling it as the achilles you heard of that you heard of the man achilles you heard of the man you saw the movie you didn't see the movie troy you didn't see a very nice boy so you put your achilles to what is called as muladhara or the perineum in your body if these two things touch many aspects are cleared out in you for that period of time many aspects means your thoughts are clear your emotions are out and there is a very clear perception of what's happening around you you heard that achilles was killed because an arrow was shot to his heel you don't believe if somebody hurts your heel you will die isn't it so but achilles died that way and there's another person who died that way in india way before him yesterday was his birthday krishna janmashtami he also died this way what this is trying to tell you is they dry, they were killed in an expert way not just slitting your throat or breaking your head but just putting a point at the achilles so they had to die so there is a certain system energy system in the body if that point of achilles is in touch with your muladhara when you sit like this there is a certain balance that you don't take any sides see all of us have our own opinions ideas ideologies stuff our own experiences of life your own experiences of life and imprints that you have taken in your mind influences everything that you see you like this person you don't like this person you love that person you hate this person all this is because you are constantly taking positions of your own but if you really want to know life the most important thing is you don't take any position you're willing to look at everything fresh every moment of your life absolutely fresh every moment of your life 
This is very difficult for people to understand. People who have been with me for thirty, thirty-five years, every day they are with me, working with me, doing so many things. I still don't have a single opinion about them. Only when I did need to do some work, I may look at their competence and stuff, but I don't have a single opinion about anybody who is around me for such a long time. By now you should have formed your opinions, but I don't because that is the essence of spiritual process that we constantly looking at every life as a possibility. There is of course a distance between possibility and reality. Some will have the courage and commitment to travel that distance, some will not have the courage and commitment to travel that distance. But every life is a possibility. If you want to keep that possibility open, you never ever form an opinion about anybody of any sort. Good, bad, ugly, you don't form these opinions, you simply look at them right now. How are they right now, this moment? That's all that matters to me. How you were yesterday is not my business. How you may be tomorrow, let's see. Tomorrow must be created, not concretized right now, isn't it? It's a certain geometry of the body. If you manage the geometry of the body well, you must… I'm telling you, Right now, people, uh, the Western cultures are going about propagating yoga is another stretching exercise. Instead of that, you can do pilates. Instead of that, you can do boxing. Instead of that, you can play tennis. See, if you want to be just fit, go run somewhere, climb a mountain, play tennis, do something. Yoga is not about fitness. Fitness is just one consequence. The important thing is to get the right geometry of life because physical universe, is all geometry. Now this building is standing here, whether how long it will stand, whether it will fall on our head today or will it stand for a long time, essentially depends on how geometrically perfect it is. The same goes for the body, the same goes for the planetary system, the same goes for the universe, the same goes for everything. Planets, planet Earth is going around the sun, not with a steel cable attached to it, just perfection of geometry, isn't it? If little off geometry, if it happens, it's gone forever. And that's true with you also. If you go off your fundamental geometry, you're gone. It's very important at an early age, you do the right things to bring a right sense of geometry. Now, you become competent to go through life. Those people who are thinking only good things should happen to them, obviously they're unfit for life because if you do not know how to go through harsh situations well, joyfully, then you will avoid all possibilities, isn't it? You will avoid all great possibilities of life simply because you want to avoid a little bit of difficulty. Only when you're geometrically in a certain state of congruence, then you're willing to go through any situation no matter what it is.